today is the day. It's a day I've been waiting for for quite some time just because I've been so excited to share this new Alicab product with you and we've been working really hard on the launch thereof and now it's finally released to the world and today it got fitted onto my Jimny. So if you've been following Alicab's social media channels for the past week or two you would know what I'm talking about but well actually if you clicked on this video and you read the title you would also know what I'm talking about but it is of course the Alicab LT50 lightweight rooftop tent and I just think it's a game changer it's a game changer for everyone who wants to get into the whole camping rooftop tent camping overlanding scene because it can basically go onto any vehicle but I think it looks exceptionally good on the Gemini. So earlier today, we fitted it. might just be us and those people here tonight <laughs> well it is a Tuesday so it makes sense oh no wait the 
is they assemble people. Once I found our campsite, it was time for a very important task. Parking the vehicle on level ground, ideally with its nose in the wind and with the rear facing the best view. As you can see, I take this very seriously and I shall not rest until the vehicle is parked in the perfect spot. The wind's not as bad as it was that side. It's no, fine. not as bad as it was on the road. Yeah, and blow bad. It was great. Exactly. When I was just, uh, when I stopped at the garage, it was like, very windy. But slightly annoying. Looks nice. Yeah, the, awesome. The tent. The tent, yeah. We wanted to kill some time before setting up camp and walking you through the lightweight tent because, well, to be honest, the lighting just wasn't nice enough yet. So, we went for a little walk down the beach in front of our campsite. Eventually, the sun was less harsh and it was time for me to open up the LT50 on my Jimny for the very first time. The LT50, like all our other Alucare products, is super quick to set up. But because this one is lighter and thinner than the Gen 3R, it's even easier for me to open, which is awesome. Okay, so that is set up done. I'm just moving in here because wind noise. I am going to put the bedding in now. And then I'll probably close the tent again just to show you that you can close it with your bedding inside, which I think is great. It's so slim and thin, but you can literally still keep two pillows and a duvet and possibly another blanket inside. We're gonna test it now. So time to make a little nest. So I'm currently putting a fitted sheet over the mattress, which is a double bed size fitted sheet. But I would probably say that you could use a single bed size and it would fit on this mattress or maybe a three quarter. But a double is maybe a bit excessive, but I'll go buy a three quarter in the week. double bed to bay and I honestly think a three-quarter is the size for this tent. Oh, it's a queen actually. And uh, this is a queen. So, let's see, it's gonna be comfy but three-quarter I would say.
All right, so we have the two pillows in here and the double bed duvet. And I have a little blanket in here as well. And I am now going to attempt to close the lightweight tent with all of this inside. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit of a tight squeeze. It did take a little bit of manpower. Um, but I must say, it is so nice to finally have a tent that I can actually close because usually I struggle a bit with the gas struts on the other tents and products because I'm not necessarily the strongest gal around. Yeah, I think it struggled a bit now because the duvet is a bit too big and um, yeah, I would recommend that if you feel like you're struggling, don't force it. Rather take some things out. If you need to keep pillows inside of your car, it's also not the end of the world. But I do think if I have a smaller, thinner duvet, or maybe a sleeping bag or something in there, and two pillows, then it would be absolutely fine. So, yeah, when I got it closed, you can keep your bedding inside. Okay, so just before we lose the last bit of light for the day, I just wanted to show you on the inside of the tent, we have these little straps slash, I don't know, hooks, <laughs> if you will, where you can hook carabiners onto and little bags if you want to put your belongings in there, your phone, your keys, or like just hook your keys on there. There are also some bags that you would be able to strap on there on the way. They're still being developed, but for now, this is mi casa. I'm so stoked. Can't believe this is my little tent on my little journey. And it's a Tuesday night and I get to check out this view from my little rooftop tent. We just had another camper pitch up and when he saw our Alucab tents he felt that he needs to join the gang and camp next to us. He's from Germany so it's always nice to meet all other Alucab owners from across the world. Anyway, Golden Hour has produced very nice content for us. Uh, it's been an exciting day of testing out and trying out the lightweight tonight, the actual test will be sleeping in it and how it sleeps I will let you know in the morning um, but for now we are going to start a fire and kick back and enjoy the last bit of the sunset and start making some food so I'll show you what we'll be making in a few seconds Okay. Okay. Dinner time. Dinner time. We are hungry. <laughs> We've got the fire going. 
And for dinner, I, well, I didn't have time to go shopping today, so there's this new thing that Woolworths has where you can order online and then and it, it's not a new thing you can just order groceries online but it's the first time I've used it and it's been really convenient so we have this bag <laughs> with all of our dinner ingredients we're going to make a beef stir fry so we have a brown mushroom stir fry mix got the beef strips Oh, and noodles. Egg noodles. So we're gonna put that in a pan on the fire, mix it all together, and it should be really good. Oh, we have this little sauce as well. Mushroom and soy stir fry sauce. Awesome. All in the pan, all on the fire. Awesome, hearty meal. Good morning. I just had a shower, freshened up for work, and now it is sadly time to pack up and head back to the city. But all in all, I had a really good night's sleep. I'm so impressed with the lightweight tent. It was super comfy. Simon is having a little bit of a chat with our, our neighbor, and here he comes with a cup of coffee. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, I'm so glad I got to experience a little bit of what the lightweight tent has to offer. I wish I could camp some more and then further down the west coast. But alas, it is a busy week at work this week and things need to be done. That little bird on top of the tent. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Okay, so while I close up the tent and just before I go, here are a few thoughts about my first night in the LT50. 1. It sleeps two people comfortably. 2. It is much longer inside than I thought it would be. I thought my feet would touch the top of the smallest part of the wedge, but neither mine or Simon's did. 3. The only thing I would add at this stage is to attach the Alicab mud bag to put my muddy or wet shoes into so that I don't have to keep them inside the tent. Four, all in all, this is a great tent if you're looking for a quick and easy place to sleep when you're out adventuring. It comes in a more basic form than the usual Alicab Gen 3 series tents, but it's super effective and you can choose which accessories you want to add along the way. Before we left, we gave our neighbor some Alicab merch as a parting gift. I must say, I was a little bit jealous of his journey ahead. After 29 years since his honeymoon year, he has returned to Africa to overland with his family for at least the next year. Living the dream. Okay, but that's that for now. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like and a comment down below and I will see you in the next video.